It's a cooking show. A what? That's right. I like that. Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to a cooking show. And it's with Rachel. I live in a small LA apartment with a tiny yet wonderful kitchen. I love to cook and I love to eat. Cooking show with Rachel. Hello. Welcome to this week's feast. This week, I'm making crostini, which is a little toast. First, let's see what's in this week's Abundant Harvest Organics large box. Sorrel, basil, grapes. Whoa, lots of grapes. <laughs> Chinese okra, melon. I think this is one of those. Crosses between a cantaloupe and a honeydew. Eggplant, spaghetti squash, radishes, bell peppers, potatoes, tomatoes, cute little yellow cherry tomatoes, and figs! Yes! That's what's in this week's large box. <laughs> okay. Today I'm making crostini. The very, very first thing I'm going to do to prepare, <laughs> to prepare my eggplant, simply going to slice off. I'm not going to use the whole thing, so I'm just going to peel a little bit of it. Then I'm going to very, oh, talk not good today. Then I'm going to very thinly slice it and sprinkle with salt. The salt will draw out the moisture and some of the bitterness, so I'm just going to let it sit while I cut up the rest of my veggies. You watch when we come back to this. Not like I have commercials or something. After these veggies will be right back. You'll see some moisture up there. Crostini! So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Have a look at this eggplant. See all that moisture? Dab it off with a paper towel. I don't know if you're supposed to rinse it off. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm going to make seven different crostini. I'm using just a regular loaf of French bread. Usually I would use a baguette, but I also like to use what I have. Kind number one. This one is going to have grapes, jam, and Parmesan cheese. I'm using some grape jam that my mom made. On all of the rest of them, I'm going to put olive oil on them first. Tomato, cheddar, olive oil, salt and pepper, and some roast beef. Bell pepper, tomato, Parmesan, olive oil and salt and pepper. I'll do the salt and pepper last. Some of these beautiful figs, gruyere and honey as well. Oh, and then ham. Kind of did this in the wrong order, but that's all right. Just rearranging things a little bit. So there. Eggplant, a little bit of honey, and some gruyere. And of course, if you're just doing a few, do them in the toaster oven, not the regular oven. The next one's going to have basil and tomato, parmesan, and the last one, sorrel and some grapes and some parmesan. All of them, except for the one with the jam, I'm going to sprinkle with a little salt and pepper. Even the one with the figs. And then they're ready for the oven. They're just going to cook for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Just waiting for the crostini. Here they are. Hello, yumminess. Serve them up on your favorite platter. Some cheese that got stuck to the pan. Mm, this is what I'm going to have for lunch. Maybe not all of them, but probably a bite of all of them. Thanks for watching this week's feast. Did I already say that? I don't know. Doodaloo! But yeah, this would also be really good with the soup I made last week. Cooking show with Rachel O. Happy birthday to my mother-in-law!